And I do want to continue our climate coverage as well and really focus on the big problem with rainfall. It is uh, no secret here that we have had an awful rainfall season and there's a link with La Nina to that. So let's show you the numbers and where we're at right now. And we're down over 18 inches in Santa Rosa, Oakland down over 10, San Francisco also down over 10 and the same thing in Concord, San Jose nearly eight inches behind. So what was the big problem? Again, it's all related related to La Nina, at least for the most part here. Uh, La Nina is the cooling of the Pacific waters, and that tends to moderate the storm track and really can help to push it way off to the north with these large areas of high pressure. And that's exactly what we had happen. So there was rainfall, but a lot of it just went up towards Seattle, uh, Canada, and also through Alaska. Now, at times, we can see this storm track moderate, dip down a little bit to bring us rainfall. But look, this is not a pattern good enough to bring us several storms back to back. And that's that's why we had so many issues getting rain again, La Nina. So where do we go from here? Well, I still see some dry weather as we roll through the next uh, seven to 10 days. But check this out on um, my forecast here. Once we get around April the 18th into the first week of May, I'm calling for a 65% chance of at least one to two storms. So there's good hope here. We get some late season storms coming our way. And then La Nina, which caused all of our rainfall problems this winter, looks like that's going to fade out as we head through the end of spring and we return to to more and so neutral conditions. Now you can get all of these climate updates, all of the stories we've worked on. Just head to NBCBarry.com and click on the climate in crisis tab in the trending bar, or you can also search climate in crisis. Oh.